must be very disappointed. Bangladesh goes on to win and win very comfortably indeed. We know how tough it is in a tournament, especially like this. It's just unfortunate we didn't cross the line. We put up a decent total. I would say that it wasn't enough when we did. You can look at it in hindsight and say we should have done this, we should have done that. But really and truly, they are bad we could have probably picked up a few more runs. And then in the field, we could have taken a few chances here and there, and then it could have been a different game. It's been some bright sparks at certain stages, but been a bit inconsistent as well. I know that as long as we put our best game together, uh, we will beat anyone on their day as well. So just about playing the situation as well, and making sure we capitalize on those moments in the game, because those key moments are what's really paying the price for us. Myself against Australia got out of a very bad time. That really put the guys under pressure. We just need to play those moments better and more consistently, and then I'm sure we'll be on the right track. Brian Lara showing the world just what a fine player he really is. I think most, if not every West Indian batter, looked up to Brian Lara when they were growing up. The finesse, the class, the elegance, everything about him was just cut above the rest. I even you see he was a mirror sometimes to so watch him right handed. Silver feet, timing, balance. He is a fine player. I'd probably say I'm an adaptable batter. It's not a case where you can play one particular role or be one dimensional, especially in these times. It's about adapting to the situation and playing them well. I'm never satisfied with what I get. I could score 100 today, but I'm always looking for something bigger, even that same day or the next day after. As a cricketer and an athlete, I think you should be looking for ways to improve and be better as a cricketer and as a person. Some of these things are very minor, but they can play a big part when you go out there on the field of play. I just have that mindset to go and do whatever I have to do for the team. I could potentially be on the field for 100 overs, so just have to put my mind around it. I work tirelessly off the field, trying to be as fit and ready for the game. So when I get onto the park, then it almost comes like second nature. We gotta fight harder. We're here to win a tournament, we're here to play for the people of the Caribbean, so we've got to pull everything out of the tank and make sure we go out there and do what we can. It's the first of many finals for us, because we know we have to win this game. So that's basically it. Final game, winning final, carry on.